Good morning. Bonjour à toutes et tous. I'm so pleased to greet all of you at the opening of this conference of local elected women. I would like to thank the President of United Cities and Local Government, Mr. Kadir Tobbas, and the City of Paris, Mayor Bertrand Delano, and Deputy Mayor Anne Hidalgo for organizing this important event. I hope this conference not only provides for fruitful exchanges, but will be your opportunity to find ways to enhance women's participation in local governance. UN Women is pleased to co-sponsor and participate in your conference. The United Cities and local governments deserves our fullest support in promoting gender equality and the participation of women in local decision making. It is great that you, who are in many instances trailblazers for women, can get together. Thank you for your tireless work for equal rights and equal opportunities. The full participation of women is a prerequisite for a fairer, more inclusive, and more peaceful society for all. As you know, UN Women is a strong advocate for more women in leadership positions. We believe in temporary special measures to get more women into office, on corporate boards, and in all aspects of public life. We have by now enough studies, enough evidence that shows that having more women in local decision, making strength, peace, justice, and sustainable development, and the democratic basis of our society. We have to act. I send you this message having just returned from Mali. I met with women who were displaced by the crisis. I can tell you that women's full participation is necessary for peacemaking, and peace building and sustainable development. We must do all we can to support our sisters to raise their voices and have their voices heard. Local and regional governments are in a unique position to advance gender equality. Let there be no doubt, if we want to have stable, prosperous and fair societies as our achievement for this century, inclusion must be the driving force. Let me now turn to a topic that is an acceptable scourge and a blatant violation of basic human rights and where you have a very important role to play. This is our struggle to end violence against women and girls. You have a special role to play to ensure that strong laws get implemented. We need an effective chain of justice to end impunity for those crimes. And justice happens so often locally and in communities. And we need social and legal services for survivors. We also need effective public education campaigns. Campaigns not just to raise awareness, but above all, campaigns capable of changing attitudes and behaviors. The same attitudes that right now allow these human rights violations to continue. That is why UN Women encourages all levels of government to join its Safe Cities for Women and Girls campaign to stop sexual harassment and violence in public spaces around the world. There is a tall action agenda before you. All of this requires a strong cooperation of local authorities like you. I encourage you to take urgent measures on all fronts to make your cities, your communities safe for women and men and young people. Think globally and act locally. With belief, conviction, and strong voices, we can, we can advance accountable and inclusive local democratic government worldwide. You and women stands beside you. Thank you very much.